So hello everybody. I want to say this real quickly because I want to give you an announcement. I am the laziest sack of shit in the world. I have I recorded this video on um, on the twenty third of uh, July and I waited until what time is it? Fifteenth of uh, August to actually uh, edit it. So sorry for the latency. I am going to be. I will try to make videos a lot more now because I'm trying to start editing more. I just got really bored of editing and really bored of making YouTube videos because none of you guys watch them. It only gets like five to six views anytime I upload a video, so it's it's no need for you guys to watch them. If you're going to watch this, my watch my videos, subscribe, click that bell button, and watch them when they get uploaded. Bye bye everybody. See ya. Watch the video, please. Hello, my tiger people, and welcome back to another episode. Shut up. Welcome back to another episode of some more Red Dead Redemption Two. Okay, can you go off now? Welcome back to another episode of some more Red Dead Redemption 2 playthrough. So, uh, yes, we're about to do this uh, next little heist mission, I think. It's probably going to be uh, like our second or before the final. I don't know which mission this is, but hopefully it's one of the most important missions now. Let's go what he wants. What you want? Uncle told me something. What you want? Uh, what did he say? Mary Beth overheard something about a train full of wealthy folk going down through Scarlet Meadows just south of the state border. Yes. John looks completely I different. Ain't even sure about doing it. Come on. At night, not too guarded, it's perfect. Nah, I ain't thought it through. You know, stopping a train, pain in the ass. Sure. But what if we could force a train to stop? <laughs> well, of course. We get a wagon full of some flammable oil. Put it on the tracks. They see it. Looks, looks they beautiful. They have to stop or die. Ain't no train driver wants to be cooked alive. That is kind of brilliant uh, for you. <laughs> that is a real idea. I think that's the first time you ever had one of them. <laughs> Shut up. You might be the first bastard to ever have half his brains eaten by a wolf and end up more intelligent. So we're doing it? Yeah, we're gonna need ammunition, guns, real frightening, and some dynamite to open up the train. I'll get the supplies. Gotta head into town for Abigail anyway. Don't even ask. You go find us an oil wagon. Yeah, I know just the place. They're always heading into that refinery. There's an old rundown shack just over the border, north of a place called Dewberry Creek. We're going to Canada? <laughs> we're going to Canada? I'm back and back and so let's do this little heist for the first little bit, whatever. I think we're done. Cool. Yay! A uh, video is coming out very soon. My one of my favorite videos I have recorded. Maybe it's gonna come out before this or after this, but whatever. Let's go do this uh, John mission or whatever mission. What's up, Sean? What's up, uh, Hosea? What's up, uh, John? Is going. And I'm going to. Where's my horse? If anybody's kind of confused, like, uh, why is my bonding down? Don't think about it. Don't think about it. Th nothing happened. Literally nothing happened. Nobody knows and nobody will know because nothing happened. It's just normal. Me and my horse just... He just we just didn't bond for a long time, so he just went down. So uh, that's totally a thing that can happen in this game. It's not like he died and I bought a new one. Totally, totally never happened. Totally... That happened. Caramel oil wagon. Let's go get that. Cause you got that. Ah! <laughs> Cause you got that. Oh, let's freaking start singing the Ricardo song. Cause you got that. Cause you got that. You got you. Cause you got that. Thing. <laughs> Just. Here comes old Yeller. He's coming for the oil factory, and I would like to find wherever it is, sir. <laughs> The horse dead. The horse dead. No way, you idiot, Marston. No, he's alive. He's alive. Uh, I got no time. Sorry, horse. Sorry, sorry, sorry. I was gonna see you later a second. <laughs> this is how I freaking play this game. Oh no 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 no. I just nick it. There's that guy over there. Mister. Uh, 
start moving real quick with him with Tomahawk. It's really, really quick. Work. Really, really quick. Work. Oh sh! How did he not die? Give me the thing, you absolute knob of horses! No, 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 no! Civilians, you do not know who I am. Where the bandana? Where the bandana? Bandana can. Oh, I gotta go. I gotta ride the kin. I'm sorry, I don't care. Need to ride, go. Let's to, let's to leave this this country. And in the country, there's a city limit sign. Fast city line. American County Line. Oh, strap truck, don't run in my freaking way. Okay, everybody, everybody who's watching this video, let's hit uh, a couple of uh, uh, rhymes. <laughs> Not rhymes, uh, songs. West Virginia, my mama, make me home, country road. Take me home to the place. I belong. I belong. West Virginia. Proud mama. Take me home. Country road. Take me home. To the place. I'm gonna hold these guns. Hey, not there. I belong. West Virginia. Yeah. Mount mama. Where the hell is this border? I'm starting to think we're actually going to Canada. <laughs> it's like, where the- like, it shouldn't take that long. We go from A, Fort A to point B, like, far at five hours of waiting and riding. Marcel, so what's up, uh, Mr. Horsey? I don't remember his name. Shady. No, 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 no. Well, finally, we're passing the border. We're going to Canada, people. We're going to Canada. Canada, 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 Okay. Slow down, boy. Slow down. Turn into the intersection, or whatever they call it in the west. Turn it into the, the tur tumbleweed. Do not crash into stuff, please. I'm not. I'm not. I'm not a good driver for this game. Go back. Turn, 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 and I'll wait for the freaking horses to go. The, the, the freaking horses. There we go. We are here. We have come here from the west to sell you some uh, oil, uh, specifically some snake oil. Would you like uh, some snake oil for you? Uh... <laughs> Stop. <laughs> what am I? Uh, get out. Yeah, get out. There we go. Get away, horses. Yeah. I have the guns in my hands. <laughs> They're levitating on one ever strain how to give a mother freaking audience feeling like it's everything. Tell John that all this stuff are back. Um, Mr. Horsey, we gotta make a ride back home. So we must send the horses, the rider, the horses. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I'm gonna switch my freaking hat. It's enough of the bear hat. Me and Rufus has a, had a good time. Me and Rufus. Hey, over here. Over here. Uh, what up? Prison? Uh, what you need? Okay. I wish I could give you some money. Well, you know, I might have something of interest. Some fat feller and his wife had a pig farm uh, northeast of Rhodes. Oh, I know that. Word is he's got piles of money. You sure I'm the right person for this sort of information? I ain't saying nothing. Do with it what you will. Uh, okay, sir. Now me and my horse are gonna ride off in about uh I'm not sure how it's done people. So that was done. This is how cowboys do it. You gotta stop and you gotta start doing this. 
start doing this. Just just do that, do this, and spring. <laughs> I just don't know why I love that. It just looks weird from Arthur. You're okay, boy. Um, uh, Arthur, I'm gonna need you to ride me there. I'm gonna drink some white tea. But I kill two animals <laughs> at once. Uh, specifically, I've just uh, decided that uh, side missions will be done in the on the storyline. In the what am I talking about? I just lost my freaking train of thought. Or for or the right this you dumbass, you dumbass fool. What's up, Charles? What's up, everybody? I'm coming in just real quick to talk to a compadre, an amigo, uh, if uh, Javier is listening. <laughs> Can you just run? Please, there we go. How you have it? Good. You? Oh, got everything we need. Good. I think we need another man. Charles? I'll go get him. Meet us at the wagon when you can. Sure. See you, Arthur. Ain't that dumb. Next time, let the wolves eat all your brain. Then you'll be a genius. I might have a problem with my ear. It's uh, something like, um, after like a few seconds, generally after like a few seconds when I have my earphones in my ear or just doing random stuff and listening to something, it just ends up like doing this like uh, ring effect, like that, like when you hear explosions in real life, and in real life when an explosion hit, it's just like, the same thing with phones. If uh, when they're open, it's like, it's like a beep. That's kind of out of fear. I don't know if it's my like problem. I don't know if I'm like freaking. I might be a little bit like infected or something, or infected. I'm a zombie. <laughs> Very funny. Would you do something with Jack? He seems kind of down. All this upheaval can't have been easy on the poor kid. Why? Because I'm your preferred nursemaid? Because you do what you say. Please. Okay. I'll take him in the morning. Thank you. Man, this game is beautiful. It's just generally beautiful. Gonna go sleep. John is gonna sleep for the first time in his Good job, boy. <laughs> Hurt my leg. Ow. One in the morning. Wear the hat. And now you got. Go, go to Jack. Hey, uh, Jack Septicai. Jack Septicai? Are you Jack Septicai? Jack Septicai? I get. Uh, it's nearly full. Fishing? Sure. You're right. It's about time that you started to earn your cake. Okay. Good. It's so hot in this room. You do have a fishing pole, don't you? Genuinely. Uncle Jose made me one. Good. Well, let's go get it then. Go catch us some fish. <laughs> yeah. Catch us some fish. It's like freaking screaming. Jeez, man. Jack, you're the boy. Jake, you I want to know me. Number one in the streets. Give me that little boy. I'm gonna put it in the invincible in the. It just it's camouflage. It just it disappears. Now, uh, now, ja now, Jack, can you just ride the 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 horse a little bit? <laughs> it's like the it's like the idea like we're like yeah. Uh, when, when you like uh, you sit your children on the, your like knees and then like you're driving like oh yeah like let them hold the freaking steering wheel but you're driving it's like oh my god I'm driving this car I'm I'm not doing anything wrong right <laughs> suddenly you the freaking kid has like skills in driving I'm like I don't know what I'm trying to do I'm digging myself into a hole that I will never get out of. This is our spot. For now, anyway. 
And it just hit me. The the ringing just hit my left ear. It's confusing. I don't know if I have an infection. I might have one. It just rings a lot. Let's find a storybook for Jake. Jack. Jake. I was supposed to say Jake. Jake. Except Nick Jake. Nick Jake. Take give take take child. I don't want to talk. Come on, follow me. Come on, son. <laughs> I just saw him running. This? First, we need some bait. Okay, I'm gonna go home now. Let's, let's go, we're done. No, no, what are you doing? Permit using the weapons. Are you bored of fishing already? No, 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 no. Make him interested. Jeez, I, it's hot. It's hot in here. Hey, I got him. I'm getting the boy. I'm getting them. I'm getting them. Wait, hey, 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 go, 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 kill yourself, kill yourself, come with me. Yeah, you little boy. Can I take a break from fishing? I want to make something. Okay. Oh, okay. Hold and. I'm gonna pick some of those Retreat! Right I'll be right back. Uh, you gotta be calm and fishing. This is your boy, uh, uh, Slim. <laughs> yeah, this is your boy, Slim Pings. I wanna call Slim Shady. Hi, kid. Do you like, do you like fishing? I got him. Another small one. No one, no small little. Not bad, not bad. But I do not care. Fishing is really good for your health, so. I'm gonna start fishing a lot uh, more. Quick whip. Triangle. Hey, nice boy. What are you doing, boy? You gotta stick at things, Jack. I know. I know. Born as hell. But then, something happens. And you can get food for days. If you're lucky. But until then, you just sit, wait, try not to worry. It's good for you. It's good for you? Why? What happened to Arthur there? Huh. It's the Berkeley's boat. Well, no. Spoilers. <laughs> Star rolling, star rolling, star rolling. Star rolling quick. Star rolling quick. Ah, uh, it's another blue, blue gale. Let's take him. Hey, look at this. Wow. What? This necklace I made. Wait, what? Necklace? For Mama. Stop the game a little bit. And continue with the gameplay. Sure. What a fine young man. And in such complex circumstances. Arthur, isn't it? Arthur Morgan? Who are you? Yes, Arthur Morgan. Vanderlyn's most trusted associate. You've read the files. Typical case. 
Orphan street kid seduced by that maniac's silver tongue and matures into a degenerate murderer. Agent Milton, Agent Ross, Pinkerton Detective Agency, seconded to the United States government. Nice to finally meet you. We know a lot about you. Do you? You're a wanted man, Mr. Morgan. Five thousand dollars for your head alone. Five thousand dollars? For me? I just did that in the same frick as bad name. We to do that. Old Dutch, I haven't seen him for months. That's so? Because I heard a guy fitting his description robbed a train belonging to Leviticus Cornwall up near Granite Pass. Oh, ain't that a little old-fashioned nowadays? Apparently not. Listen. This is my offer, Mr. Morgan. Bring in Vanderlyn. You have my word, you won't swing. Oh, I ain't gonna swing anyways, Agent. Uh, Milton. You see, I haven't done anything wrong, aside from not playing the games to your rules. Spare me the philosophy lesson. I've already heard it from Mac Callender. Mac Callender? He was pretty shot up by the time I got to him. So really, it was more of a mercy killing. Slow. But mercy. <laughs> you enjoy being a rich man's toy, dear. I enjoy society, flaws and all. You people venerate savagery, and you will die. Savagely, all of you. Oh, we're all gonna die, Agent. Some of us, sooner than others. Good day, Mr. Morgan. Goodbye. Enjoy your fishing, kid. While you still can. Foreshadowing, 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 alarm, 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 alarm. Remember this bit if you have played Red Dead Redemption 1. Remember, 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 remember. Foreshadowing, foreshadowing, foreshadowing. I'm your foreshadowing alert for every game. I'm just like running. What's up, child? I'm leaving you like how your dad left you in the first few years. <laughs> I'm so sparkled. Let's ride on a horse. Why did you lie about where Uncle Dutch is? Because, well, because those are disagreeable and I don't want them to hurt him. What did they mean about Mac? Is he in jail? His voice is so like chill, child, but like Jack is so childish. It's like completely like it's like a little out of this world, child. <laughs> like me, like kind of, slightly. Yes, it sounds like me. I'm trying to George, no. whatever the hell. We caught a fish and I made you this necklace. Ain't that pretty? Not the luckiest. Did you thank Uncle Arthur? No, Nate. We had a good time. What's wrong? Nothing. Just met some folk. I better go speak with Dutch. Okay. Hey, you did real fine, kid. Thanks. Real fine. We got a problem. What? I just met some guys out near the river. A fella named um, Milton and uh, I don't remember the other fella's name. Ross. Ross. Milton and Ross. And they are employees of the Pinkerton Detective Agency. And they know about the train, and they know we're here. Well, you followed back here. No, they know we're near here. They want you, Dutch. They offered me my freedom in exchange, and they did. Why didn't you take it? Because I'm loyal. Funny. Well, what do we do now? I'd say we do nothing. Just yet. They're just trying to scare us. And doing something stupid.
We have turned a corner. We survived the mountains. We just need to stay calm. I know Dutch, but I'm a little bit uh smart about what we're gonna have. It will take a turn, and that turn will be in the next few episodes. Well, thank you all very much for watching this episode of some more Red Dead Redemption 2. Make sure to subscribe and follow my other shit is down in the description. I can't breathe. <clears throat> I had a little bit of the... Thank you all very much for watching this episode. Make sure to leave a like and subscribe. I'm going down in the description. And I hope you guys enjoyed this, uh, this video of, uh, another, uh... So you, you saw did you? I really love this game and I think it's one of my favorites. Uh, Okay, but but I hope you guys enjoyed it. The next few episodes are gonna be more more like uh, less longer. I wanna suck for this game 30 minutes of gameplay and 10 minutes of uh, 30 minutes of like gameplay and just edit it down to like how long I can. Uh, so most videos are gonna be 40 minutes, not longer than that. I was enjoyed it. Make sure to leave a like, subscribe, and I'll see you guys next time. Ta-ra!